Okay, but like, how do you spot a weirdo? I'm gonna take all the questions, Decoy. You got it. Uh, I think it's I think it's kind of that same thing um, from earlier. Like like it's hard to spot them. You have like your your weirdos that can like keep it in until like that moment where that like that you realize that they're doing something that's off and it just doesn't seem normal. And then you're like, oh, I'm uncomfortable now. And then you can spot some of them from like afar. Like a good, like really easy example of like spotting them from afar is like you see someone who's strung out on drugs. Like that is a weirdo to me. I'm like, I'm not going to go over there. They look like they're strung out on drugs. That's not right. safe for me. You know, I find that weird. So that's that's like my sort of gauge for it. Like I'm, I'm usually pretty open when it comes to just people and their different personalities and their different quirks but there is like a like a line like if they cross that line i'm gonna be like oh no <laughs> nope <laughs> yeah um for me i gauge people like i'll look from far but then like talking to them just like hearing about what they're saying and what they're thinking about that's how i gauge us that's how i spot them okay because what about you, weird women i mean that's a, you, you have to talk to them to gauge it like you would you wouldn't know until you actually talk to them because some people like you said whoever said it like it's really good to hide it. So you have to like talk to these right. people and engage it. Okay, you know? but what are the like, red flag for you? It's just like, oh, crazy. Weird or crazy. Um, like mid conversation, she says like one crazy thing. Like what would that be? Like, if she's like quack or something like that, you know, <laughs> something weird like that. I'd be like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think, I think weird, it would be weird. What if she starts like planning out like your wedding on your on their yes. on your first day? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. What if, what if she goes like, you know, wraps her boob, I don't know, lick her finger and then eat pizza? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I'd be like, you know what, this is the I have to, I have to hit you. But not like I, I think you just just like just talking to a person, you can really gauge it. Cause you can't really judge a book by its cover. They could be doing weird shit, but not be weird, you know? Yeah. I mean, if that's kind of like an oxymoron, though. But <laughs> see, you know what? Like, I just thought about double standard. Like, if you guys see us, like, you know, s- scratching our crotch in front of you at a restaurant, you'd be like, "Ugh!" But like, we should like see you guys do that. You know, like carefully adjusting it. Like, <laughs> I mean, if that's it's, it's just weird to see a woman doing that. But then that's just a double standard thing, right? But it's it's not okay. Please, guys, don't do that. That's like I like, I understand it, but you know, just try better hiding it. Like otherwise, it just look. And then, and then you know, and then and then they go like, <laughs> <laughs> and then the curiosity, and they're just like, huh? <laughs> do you think men spreading is weird then? <laughs> no, like they do it on public. At yeah, the yeah. restaurant and the line, I don't know, the supermarket, whatever you go. Like, thank God right now they're wearing masks, so they cannot actually do it. <laughs> but back in the you just see them like sneak their hand under their mask and just casually. <laughs> 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 they're dedicated. Uh, uh, that's Weird. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Man. That's you know what is what weird you- to me though? Um, when I see people now with masks and they're under their nose it just looks so bizarre and I'm just like why because like like they're just walking around and it's just like their their nose is just peeking out from the top and not only does it make it seem like they have a huge gigantic nose but it's just it seems so out of place now yeah you know with everybody wearing that looks weird that looks weird because what's the point of like wearing a mask then like just be a rabel don't wear it at all you know exactly yeah, <laughs> Maybe like I would. I don't want to follow the rules, but I don't want to be, you know, like get fined. So I'll just, <laughs> just <laughs> so I can casually sniff my finger up. <laughs> That's what it is. That has to be it. So if somebody says something they're like, "Oh, you, you, oh, you have to put your mask over your nose," they're like, "Oh, okay, I got it," and then they can casually like lift and sniff. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. It is. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think everything that like doesn't um, fits your like hygiene, even like requirements, you know, on your own, like to people like that's everything like immediately disgusting. And that's weird. Like, period. Yeah. Yeah. Any more questions, Decor, about weird stuff? Uh, no, nah, nah, I think I think you got it from here. No, I just have one more question. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Actual question. Well, actually, two if you don't mind so have you ever dated someone who thought you were weird oh all the time (laughs) (laughs) 
Yay! <laughs> so <laughs> being like, you know, having a lot of tattoos and just not like uh, kind of looking a little different than like your average, like female in the population. I definitely have had people that are like, you know, you're weird, but it's good weird. And I'm like, okay, I, thanks, I think. Um, mm -hmm. So sometimes it's usually been used as like a compliment, but at this, I've never really had anyone say just like, oh, you're weird and still be dating me. So yeah, I think people don't casually say, oh, you're weird. You're disgusting. We just like, but I think my face would always show up. I was like, I, I just cannot yeah. hide any on the face. Zikori, what about you? Uh, I get called weird all the time by my girlfriend. She's like, you weird. <laughs> I mean, it's like before, no, no. I, I, yeah, actually, yeah. You know, just I figure I do weird things, but I, I do it not because like, I think it's weird, but it's just something that I just do. I'm like, oh, you know. Okay. Okay, and the final one. Um, so, well, it was like kind of relationship question but how about sexual things? The weirdest thing that have ever been done to you. And you were just like, whoa. Cause like, you know, before like you go to sex, you kind of have like a couple of dates, you know, conversations and everything seems fine. But then in woo, you just like, either you just say, get out, get out, get out, get out. Or you just like, oh, that's weird. I'm never going to see this dude again. But like, I don't want to, you know. Okay, wait, Decor, you go first. I mean, I talked about this in the previous episode, like somebody licking my feet. That was the weirdest thing. I was just like, I don't like this. This is the gross. And then because I look at my feet and I'm like, I don't even want to touch my feet. So like, oh, that's disgusting, that, man. Like, uh, do some petty. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Decorey, first time? <laughs> <laughs> first time? Yeah. Like, hello. Yeah. Hello. Um, okay. Lauren? Okay, so, so weird stuff. Okay. So once again, I'm pretty like open and like, I'm, I'm a big, I, I try to be a big advocate of like trying everything at once and being like, okay, this seems strange, but we'll see how it goes. You know, like, yeah. you know, what if it's awesome? So, you know, and, and most of the time it's not. Um, so. <laughs> and like, I would say it's not like not awesome. Like I'm also like that, like conception, I have this conception that like, at least like have to try once, but then sometimes like it just doesn't go with expectations more than, you know? Yeah. But we talked so, weird, weird. Let's see, I'm trying to think. Um, so not like date specific, but it turned into like this weird date. So when I was living in New York, I also, um, and, and DeCorey doesn't know this, so he's probably gonna like have his face where he goes. <laughs> so I also did like foot fetish videos for a while. Um, and that is where my hate for feet kind of stems from because I hate feet. And they, it paid really well. So, and it was basically like, BDSM like foot fetish like tickling videos and they had a chair and they would strap you into the chair and like just mercilessly tickle your feet for like a few minutes and it was like a few hundred bucks and I'm just like okay I'll be like tortured by tickling for like a few hundred bucks for a few minutes not a bad you know situation fine um in. and then that led to like then that led to like okay <laughs> like the foot job situation Fit my